Hello, this is Angela from the Jurassic Coast Trust and today I'm going to tell you all about my top five facts about Old Harry Rocks on the Jurassic Coast. Fact number one, what is Old Harry Rocks made out of? Well, as you can see from lots of pictures about Old Harry Rocks, the rock itself is bright white in colour. It's actually made out of chalk, it's a sedimentary rock. But what really, really fascinating about Old Harry Rocks is that it's made out of billions and billions of microscopic algae called coccolithopores. They are really fascinating creatures because they look so beautiful at a micro scale. Now chalk itself is made of billions of these algae cemented together at the bottom of the seabed, but that's not all. It's made out of their dead bodies, but it's also made out of all of the things that these tiny little creatures left behind, including their poo. So the next time you stand on top of old Harry rocks, just imagine you're standing upon billions and billions of their dead bodies, but also millions of tons of their poo. Isn't that fascinating? Fact number two, how old is old Harry rocks? Well, the rocks are actually made out of chalk and they date back 65 million years ago. During this time, dinosaurs were roaming the earth, but then something catastrophic happened. A meteor hit the earth and that meant that the dinosaurs became extinct. So it's fascinating to think that next time you go and visit Old Harry Rocks, you're standing right on top of the rocks that record the time when dinosaurs became extinct. My third fact about Old Harry Rocks is why is it called Old Harry? Local legend said that these were the rocks that were named after a pirate and he was called Harry Pay. He used to hide his ships behind the rocks and he used to await for rich merchant trawlers and ships passing by so he could rob them of all the treasure. I quite like that one. I quite like smugglers and pirates so that excites me. My fourth fact is what will Old Harry rocks look like in the future? Now Old Harry is actually a chalk stack and in its previous life it would have started out as a small hole in the chalk cliffs. Now, erosion is a really important process on the Jurassic Coast and what it does is it carves out that small notch in the cliffs and it makes it much bigger so one day it becomes a cave. That cave gets much bigger as well over time because those waves keep eroding the chalk away and then eventually that cave will become an arch. Soon the arch itself will erode even more so that the top of the feature collapses into the sea forming a stack and this is what we see today. Eventually that stack will also become weathered and eroded by the sea and it will eventually form a stump. So in the future all you might see of old Harry rocks will be a pile of chalk rocks poking out of the sea. My fifth and final fact is how can you possibly see old Harry rocks with your family? One of the best places is to actually park your car at Knoll Beach or Middle Beach Car Park in Studland. They're owned by the National Trust. And then you can walk from there all the way to the headland where you can see Old Harry Rocks themselves. It's not a long walk, it takes you about half an hour, but once you get there, you'll have the most spectacular views over Studland Bay, out towards Bournemouth, and you can see this fantastic feature with your very own eyes. Have fun exploring old Harry Rocks!